joined by the cast of Marvel's Runaways. Hey guys! Hello. Hello. Happy Comic Con to you! Yes. <laughs> Very excited to be here. I'm so excited because we can finally start talking about season three. It's coming out this December. Exciting. We're getting close. Like I said, it's a little bit of a Christmas gift for everyone, a little holiday surprise. Um, kicking things off, how do you feel like this third season compares to the first two? I feel like we're getting darker. I think that's exactly right. I'd say it gets a little darker. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all going to be walking on eggshells through this whole thing, but I feel like uh, <laughs> first couple seasons, it's us sort of coming into our own. Uh, in the third season, we are in our own, and we are driving, you know, full full steam ahead. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a lot more, right? I would say it's a lot more darker. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot darker. <laughs> yeah, we have an exciting new character, Elizabeth Hurley. Yes. She's amazing. Yeah. I, if I could describe it in one word, season three is otherworldly, for sure. Oh. Otherworldly. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. this. That's, really good. That's a good one. Yeah. Greg? Yes. How would you describe it? Um, I would describe, yeah, definitely darker. I mean, look, the characters, obviously, we've been on this journey for now three years, and so the stakes are probably higher than ever. Um, and yeah, it's, in, in my opinion, this season is definitely uh, my favorite season, and I think our uh, special effects are, are the best they've ever been. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, an exci it's an exciting season for all of us. Well, and it's especially exciting because we are getting our very first crossover event with the cast of Cloak yes. and Dagger. Oh my gosh, when you guys put together that video, I screamed. I was so <laughs> excited. What can you tease for the fans about the crossover? Ooh. You're um, like, nothing. <laughs> it, it, it's the first time that uh, Cloak and Dagger have uh, understood that there are other kids in their world yeah. that also have superpowers. So I think that's going to be fun to see, you know, uh, dynamics that have already been formed, different energies coming into our group. We're also entering their group. Uh, and thankfully, Olivia and Aubrey personally are very nice. So yeah, we nice. actually had an amazing so time. So yeah. Talented. That was one of the interesting things, sort of getting to see their powers mixed with ours, and I say powers to me lightly, but uh, <laughs> getting to see all that kind of mixed together, is it's uh, really exciting to see on screen. And to their, as their uh, special effects and stuff too, like how her, her dagger works versus how my light effect works, like it's kind of cool to see how they... To uh, do their effects on their show. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you guys really manifested this crossover <laughs> yeah. into existence. So, like, let's just put it out there right now. What other Marvel franchise Ooh. would you guys like to cross over with? The Avengers. Oh, <laughs> Avengers. That, that would be pretty, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, but so, like you said, Elizabeth Hurley is joining you in season three. Um, she's got a pretty hellish role. Yes. Um, what can you tell the fans out there and what was it like welcoming her into the cast? When I got to work with Elizabeth, she's just, she walks in and she's Morgan Le Fay. She owns that character and it's really fun to bounce off her energy off that screen. She has like this malicious kind of female dominant character um, and it's really fun to play. I think if I could tease something, it's going to be a wild ride and it's very epic, um, our encounters with her. Yeah, I'd say the world that she brings <laughs> uh, to our show uh, in general is uh, a scary one and it's uh, exciting to sort of see how we react to it. She's really fun because she had to bring so much to the table that we had never seen before yeah. in terms of effects and powers and all the stuff and she did it with absolute conviction and just no holding back. It was kind of amazing to watch a lot of what was going through my head during these like fantastic special effects was just like don't mess it up <laughs> she's doing a great job let her do let her finish the scene i have to i have to just stay in it yeah. and she's got some epic outfits too i mean oh. she's, she's got some great outfits i gotta say you're drooling, you're drooling a little bit I'm drooling. I love her. some of them are now missing from the war yeah. trailer. i don't know how it happened i'll say i was floored when i first saw her really yeah, yeah she's beautiful yeah it's crazy. floored let's talk about the cliffhanger that you guys left us on Whoa. Three of you have been captured. In the tubes. <laughs> tube days. Those were not the days. <laughs> How did you feel about the, the tube tubes, days? Yeah. How, did you feel with, how was life in the tube days? Did you feel like a hamster? You're in a tube 14 hours a day. I mean, it's, and you're just, and you're just sitting there in a tube. Ginny and I got to know each other extremely well. <laughs> Three days just staring at each other like, okay, we're very grateful to have this job, but we are very ready to we're get out. We're just in a glass tube and we're tubes. just looking at each other through these tubes all day. Yeah. Will you get yeah. out of the tube in season three? That is the question. Ooh, I don't know. You have to wait and see. There's like a sense of panic though, like yeah. especially for Nico and Molly and I, um, Molly and I, uh, Nico and Molly, because they're just really want to gather Carolina and the rest of the gang because they don't feel complete without them. Yeah, Nico's really stressed out this season for sure. <laughs> yeah. well, especially because since the group was split up, this means that some of our favorite ships are apart right now. All of them. I know. <laughs> 
Let's spill some romance tea. Who can give us a tease about what's coming up in season three? Uh, well, I'd say a big theme of this season would be sacrifice. I think well, everyone here learns about the power of sacrifice, self-sacrifice, and, and I think we saw the parents have to, you know, do a lot of that and give up their morals to protect the ones that they love, and I think this season is about the runaways kind of coming to terms with that. Yeah, I think uh, for Chase and Gert, I think we're going to see, maybe in season three, uh, maybe some new energy entering <laughs> uh, our sort of yeah. uh, dynamic, and yeah. Chase or Gert may not like it. That's what I would say. <laughs> little friction, little tension, you know? And all the little, fans are really tension. mad now. <laughs> <laughs> little doghouse days. <laughs> you know, that's not to say that, you know, you never know what happens in the end. Yeah, okay. You know. right. Sometimes you never it know. takes a little friction in order to like fall in love deeper. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Absence <laughs> makes the heart grow harder. Oh, Chase wow. knows that one well. <laughs> Um, well, lastly, I loved how you were saying if I could describe the season in one word. I'm going to have all you put on the spot oh, right no, now. No, no, no. You're already done. I already did it. <laughs> so if you can describe other season three. I say other words. Yeah. Hyphens count. Okay. All right, shout them out. So I'm going to go first. Yeah. Uh, very dark. Duh, I was going to, that was going Just off the I'm, I'm allowed a thingy. I've changed it. Very dark. <laughs> Um, okay. Sorry, babe. Yeah, I should have went first. Why would I let you go? Exactly. Um, I would say season. One word. Go. I would say. Yes, Renzi. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm just trying to stall. Give me yeah. a second. Um, I'm trying to stall. <laughs> stalling. All right, somebody else. I got it. I got it. I got it. Inserted and then flamed it. Uh, I'd say it's spooky. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> Never Magic? had that one. Magic. I love when I get all of you guys together because it's just clear how much you adore each other. <laughs> Uh, you know that interview is hung up on you. Am I back on? Well, we have a uh, great show <laughs> it's coming out yeah, December yeah, 13th on Hulu. Like I'll say uh, if I can't say dark, which I can't. Um, <laughs> Come on, adjectives. Did you say very dark? I said very dark. Okay, so right, I'll say um, it's uh, evil. Oh, all that suspense all that for you. <laughs> oh, it's so poor. So all right. poor from you. I'll get another one by the time you guys go. <laughs> I feel like this word. I mean it. It could. It could sound no, I, I convoluted, and that, right. and that it, oh. there's a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, that's, that's a big word. I'm like well, she's got a chorus. I know that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what what did it? Was it? No, that was great. Um, thank you guys so much for chatting with me all about Marvel's Wonder Woman season three.